Today we're going to show you the step-by-step -step process to identify which connections of your LinkedIn connections are actually online. Let me show you how to do this. So you're on LinkedIn and you're wondering which of all your connections are actually online. Now the reason you want to know who's online is because if you're on LinkedIn and you just see people, you don't know if they're online or not. You go to somebody's profile. How can you tell if they're online? Well, the way that you can tell if somebody's online is if you see a little green dot next to their name, like for example, this person, a little green dot, that means he's active right now. Richard Moore doesn't have a green dot. He has a green dot with a white dot on, in the middle of it. So he's available on mobile. So you see this is available now, available on mobile. So as you can see, the people that are available on mobile, that means they have their notifications turned on on their cell phone. And when you DM them, um, they get a notification. And so how do I segment all of my connections? Now, if I click on messaging, I can quickly see the people that are on versus the people that are not on right now by looking at the little green dots, their status messages. But did you know that every single time I load a person on LinkedIn, it takes up a profile view? So if I want to load all of my connections on LinkedIn without incurring any profile views, the way that I would do that is I would click on My Network, you see that? And then on the left side, see where it says connections? By the way, I have over a thousand people waiting to connect with me on LinkedIn. And I'm not just going to connect with anybody, especially if they don't include a note in their message and it's not relevant. So use a note whenever you want to connect with somebody on LinkedIn and make sure the note is relevant. You can use a tool like Evy AI to help you be able to leave notes. But if I click on connections right now, you see it says connections. I'm able to see all the people, you see the green dots, all the people that are actually online right now this minute. And if I click on the little circle in the middle of my mouse, it, it makes my mouse into a circle, and I just push the down button, it starts auto-scrolling by itself. Now I'm going to pull it all the way down in high-speed mode, and it's going to start loading all of my connections. Now, the thing is, on the top over here, you see it says over here, connections, this URL did not change. That means you're not putting a load on LinkedIn's servers. This makes it better for LinkedIn, and so it doesn't take up more of its resources. You don't have to load a million pages, and it also doesn't bother LinkedIn if you keep loading all of your connections. And so if you load too many people's profiles, you can get in trouble from LinkedIn. So if I control-click, control-click, control-click on these people, that would cause a profile view, and it would cause a load issue on LinkedIn's profile, on LinkedIn's server, which... Um, which will say, A, maybe you're using automation or maybe you're scraping or maybe you're doing something terrible on LinkedIn. And so what I recommend doing is instead, if you want to load, let's say, a thousand connections to s determine who's online and who's not online, you do this through this page. And then you can um, go to the bottom. If you scroll to the way bottom and you hold this down, it'll just keep loading and loading and loading and loading. And after it loads three or four, it stops for a second and then you hit load more and it'll keep loading more. But as you can see, it's still loading more people. And um, and if you have, have your mouse like in that feature where it's just the auto scroll, it'll just keep loading more. And the goal for me is to, let's say, load 1,000 or 2,000 people. I have almost 30,000 connections. So I'm not going to load all 30,000. It's going to put a really heavy load on my computer. So maybe I'll just let it load for a few minutes till we get to, let's say, you know, five or six months. Um, we're up to five months ago. So we'll stop. We're at five months already. So we'll stop. Let's look at this message from Brandon. Brandon says, still not been able to maximize the use of your tools. Uh, maybe join our training sessions. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a cool trick. So I built a Google Chrome extension I call the LinkedIn Presence Checker. And it's available here in our community if you go to school.com slash EVAI. And what this extension will do is it'll allow you, once you install it, it'll allow you to check which connections are online and which are not. So out of the 758 that I loaded, I loaded 758, 74 are actually online, and 95 are reachable. If I want to filter for all the people that are actually currently online, I just click on filter for online only. If I want to see the people are reachable on mobile, I click on only show only reachable, and if I want to show both, click show both, and if I want to show all, show all. And if I want to export everything, I just press export. Now, this, this is a beta mode um, extension that was created with Chrome in just a few minutes. Um, and we're going to be improving this. But just to show you what's even possible, I'm going to hit um, 
show online only, and it'll show you all the people that have a green dot on their profile. You see that it filtered out all the green dots? That's phenomenal. If you want to see the 74 people out of the 700 that are actually online right now, and I'm, and I'm here, sitting here chatting with Brandon, and I actually asked Brandon a question. I clicked on message, and I said, hey, LinkedIn notified me that you're currently online. Are you actually online right now? Just checking. And he said, yes. I said, that's epic. I cannot believe that it's actually true. LinkedIn tells me who's online. Oh, my God, it's so cool. You see, we went back and forth, started to build a relationship with this connection that I have over here, and that allows me to be able to connect and go deeper with the people that are actually online right now. So if you're not using tools like this today, highly recommend that you go to the My Network tab and you load it. Now, another benefit of being in the My Network tab is you can message all these people. You can just click message, 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 and that's not going to hurt you. As a matter of fact, it's actually going to help you. So if I click on Carlos and I click on message, I can actually use Evy AI to help me be able to draft a direct message for him, or I can use one of our templates. Like, for example, if I'm on LinkedIn Live right now, I can send him this message over here. I press insert, and it actually inserts the message for Carlos right here. You see that? I'm actually on LinkedIn Live right now. If you want to watch, please join me. I just sent him this message. So hopefully he'll see that message. He'll see that I'm on LinkedIn Live, and he'll want to join in on the fun on LinkedIn Live. But I have lots of different templates that I save inside Evy AI. So even if you don't want to use AI, you can still use the template mechanism inside Evy AI. Now, what I would do if I were you is I would save all these people into active users. So you might want to go into Evy AI, click on, see where it says manage lists, and have a active LinkedIn users. Okay, so these are active LinkedIn users. Show as that they're currently active. So if people are currently active or they're online LinkedIn users or whatever, you can do active LinkedIn users. And then when you go here, let's see. Oh, did LinkedIn just have a heart attack and just go out of business? No, it's right here. Um, then what you can do is you can control click on these. And I wouldn't do too many at once, but I'm going to control click on, say, five of them. And as you can see, I have these five people loaded here, right? And then I can save each one. I'm going to click on Save Profile. And as I'm saving these profiles, I can save them into a particular list. In this case, I'm going to save it to Active, uh, active LinkedIn Users. And if for whatever reason the, the list doesn't load, you just refresh the page. You click the drop-down. And then it says Active LinkedIn User right there. You see that? And now the, the drop-down has been created. And now this person is saved inside Evy AI. So if I go here and I just click on Save LinkedIn Profiles, you'll see this person, Marilyn, is right here, and I can see if she actually posted or not. And if I want to message her, she has the green dot on. That means she's using LinkedIn. That means she's super active. And I see she has not posted in two months, but I'm going to go ahead and leave a comment on her post just to stay top of mind and have her notice that I'm there. You want to interact with people that are actually active on LinkedIn. That's really the key, and making sure to save them into your list inside Evy AI, it just makes it easier for you to be able to find when they actually post on LinkedIn, which will enable you to be able to get more bang for your buck. Well, hopefully now you know how to use a tool that allows you to find who's online on LinkedIn. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and let me know that you want to learn more. In the comments, I'd love to hear who is your ideal client? Who do you want to meet? Who do you want to do business with? Let me know. Let me know who you're going to be saving onto LinkedIn, and I would love to connect with you, learn more about you, and build a relationship with you. Uh, one more thing that I just want to show you real quick is if you go, um, if you're using Evy AI Pro, right now this is Evy AI Premium, we're going to be offering you the ability to segment all of your connections very quickly. And so if you currently are not, you don't have a LinkedIn Connections dashboard, we're building out dashboards for people. So I'm going to type in dashboard. We have dashboards that we're building out for people. And so if you want me to build you a dashboard, say I need a dashboard. So for example, we built a dashboard for Jim, and this is Jim's dashboard. So if I want to find out all the people that uh, Jim has that are in the position of sales, I don't even need to load LinkedIn. I can just go to profile position. I can do clear all, and I can do sales. And anyone that has the word sales, I can just load right over here. And now I have a list of all the people that are in the position of sales. And then I can search for those people um, 
without loading their profile. Or if I want to load their profile, I can go ahead and load their profile by clicking on their profile. But if I want to message them, I can message them from the LinkedIn link that I sent you guys earlier, that I showed you guys earlier by just searching their name um, in here. You see, there's two search boxes. If you search it here, it searches LinkedIn. If you search it here, it searches your current connections. And because he's not a connection of mine, he's not going to load here. But if I was Jim, I would just search his name here. It would load Dimitri. I'm just going to search a random person. You can see all the Dimitris load. Now, the, the downside of this is that it only loads 100 at one time. So if you're searching, let's say, Davids, I might have 500 Davids, but it's only going to find me um, 100 Davids, even if I scroll all the way to the bottom. But the beauty is it's going to show me all the Davids that are online. If I just click on this little presence checker and I hit Check Connections, it'll say there are 12 Davids online. So if I want to show only the Davids that are online, these are all the Davids that are online out of my top 100 Davids. I think that's a really fantastic way of being able to identify specific people. And then I can just say, hey, David, 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 and message all my Davids with one message that says, hey, David, hope you're doing well. Would love to learn if you're online right now, what you're up to, blah, blah, blah. So David Alta, for example, is a client of mine. I want to save him as an active connection. I can just quickly now add him here, add him to the list, add him to active LinkedIn user. And now he's in that active LinkedIn user. So out of my connections, typically 10% of your connections are actually going to be active at any given time. Um, I'd like to see that number go higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify who are my 2,900. I have 29,000 connections. Who are the 2,900 people that are actually active on LinkedIn? And then I'm going to engage with them, build relationships with them, and go a little bit deeper. Well, hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll watch. I'll see you on the next video. If you want to use Evy AI, just go to evyai.com. This is your LinkedIn AI assistant that will support you to help you take your business to the next level. My name is Joe Applebaum, and I approve this message. Boom.